A diplomatic deep freeze with a difference. A bloke standing in the cold on a bit of grass in Canberra is not a threat to our national security. A Russian official braving Canberra's harsh winter, camping out in a demountable and refusing to abandon a prime block which the federal government has moved to seize. We actually support the law. Um, Russia hasn't been real good at the law lately. It's a direct challenge to the Australian government and parliament, which last week rushed through legislation cancelling Russia's lease, fearing a new embassy so close to parliament would present a formidable spying threat. Legally, uh, there's really no basis upon which uh, a Russian diplomat can seek to squat or occupy that particular site of the former Russian embassy in Yarralumla. But at least for now, the government seems in no rush to see this man come in from the cold. We've dealt with a national security matter. As the PM has said, a bloke sitting on the site is not a national security threat to this country. And particularly when it's so cold <laughs> out there. The opposition is less amused and wants the government to find a way to remove him. Well, it just doesn't feel as if the PM is taking this matter seriously. He seems to you know, want to cast it aside as a bit of a joke, a bit of a laugh. Uh, this ultimately is a simple case of whether the law of the land is being complied with. This diplomatic battle is now playing out in two theatres. This afternoon, the Russian government also launched a legal challenge, asking the High Court to intervene to stop Australia from seizing the property. The federal government has already dismissed that as part of Russia's usual playbook and seems very confident of victory. But the High Court will make up its own mind after it hears the matter on Monday. Stephen Judges, ABC News, Canberra.